what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um another another weekly video man another weekly video on basic ass stuff that i truly believe 99.9 percent .9 of every single business misses when it comes to social media marketing like when it comes to social media marketing when it comes to basic you know branding when it comes to trying to build your business online that's why i consult with business owners every single day man and 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 i tell them i'm like dude i already know what you're looking for a lead someone looking to buy something a coaching call a consulting call you're looking to sell a membership you have a yoga studio or a, or a freaking boxing gym a local gym and you're selling memberships right it's like whatever you're doing, if you are building a business, I tell this to my friends, my clients, my prospects, I tell this to people every single day in, in coaching calls, is that, dude, if you're building a business in 2020 and on, you have to absolutely be on social media, and these are the basics that need to be implemented. I talk about the basics every day, man. I have freaking built a, a, a nice little niche and nice little fortune in, in teaching businesses the mm -hmm. basics, man. Everyone's trying to capture a lead. Everyone's trying to close a deal. But what about the basics? What about just, you know, basic branding, basic linking of all social media platforms and making sure that whatever link a person clicks on, it's taken them somewhere relevant and it's, and it's taken them somewhere where, where us as the business owner has the ability to, to, to exchange value for a lead. You know, whatever you're selling, man, whatever you're selling, you're looking for a customer, you're looking for a lead. At the end of the day, every business is the same, man. Every, every strategy, all these, and I'm referring to 99% of businesses out there, mom and pop shops, local businesses, you know, small businesses. I'm referring to, to those, us little guys that are, that are just literally what consists of the internet. We do make up the internet. The internet is not comprised of major corporations. Yeah, of course you have, of course, there's marketing and, and big brands are on are online, of course. But dude, 99% drop shippers, Amazon sellers, all small businesses, man. All of us just individual, a lot of people that are solar solopreneurs and are doing a lot of it themselves and just leveraging it out. You know, nowadays with Fiverr and Upwork and these types of platforms where you can hire good people, it makes it so fucking it's so freaking much um um, easier, man. But again, the basics, the basics, like I tell people all the time, I already know you're looking for a lead, but let's back up and let's focus on these basics. And so the, the absolute most basic and, and, and the most important when it comes to anyone building a business in 2020 and beyond is, is knowing which are the top platforms and where billions of people are at now there's all kinds of up and coming platforms TikTok, super up and coming snapchat had its value in the past who knows where it's at now i never really got onto snapchat but 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 as a marketer i always knew that there was an audience there right but then i also knew that it's really just the top five there's five major major platforms that we always hear about and as an entrepreneur you have to have a presence on these platforms and it's really facebook linkedin Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Okay. Those are your top one, two, three, four, five. Those are your top five. And if you want to go there, which I really, I have the presence, I have it set up, but I don't know one damn thing about it. If you want to add another one, it's Pinterest. Okay. So it one Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. Those top six platforms, I don't care what kind of business you're building. These top six is where you need to have your, 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 your stamp, right? Your, your, and I'm referring to links. I'm referring to links and also social media handles. All these handles must be matching. Inspired digital. You know, you come over here inspired digital you come over here inspired digital basic man basic inspired digital you come over here inspired digital yeah i don't have a following on pinterest and i'm never on pinterest all i know how to do is share my youtube video on it but i have it i have the name on lock right and 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 my stamp is on all of these top six platforms you stay right here and you're good man Okay, yeah, you can always jump on TikTok and Snapchat and all these other random platforms. You could for sure, there's an audience there. 
but just as an entrepreneur, if it, regardless of any other thing, these top six are major, major players. You have a ton of people in these platforms, man. So my whole point of this video is literally showing you the about section. In that about section, in that about section, everything better be look, looking legit. Everything better be matching. All the links better be listed. Basic stuff, man. I'm telling you, most of you guys missed this part. Um, but what I'm also saying is that in the about sections, which are your bios, your intros, in those sections, right, on all these different platforms, there's a link. That link is what I'm also talking about. This link, you better be taking me somewhere relevant. You better be taking me to one page. Don't take me to your website, all right? Don't take me to your website. This is what 99% of you guys are still doing if you even have a website. A lot of you guys just have landing pages. Um, but for those out there that are, that are still sending traffic to their quote unquote website as if, as, as, and, and then they send me there, not only do they send me to their website, but, but at the same time, most of them aren't even pixeling me. This person right here sending me to her website, someone's Facebook pixeling me, right? Which I doubt it's her. It's probably her broker. If anything, it's probably Sotheby's. If anything, they're pixeling me, right? Not her, not even her. So she's sending me to some website that they set up for her. And this is where she's taking her traffic. This is where she's taking her traffic. This is not where, man. This link, this link that you have everywhere in all these different platforms needs to go to one page where you're pixeling. That's the whole purpose of, of, of taking them to the one page. So you're pixeling all the visitors, right? And then basic links that maybe send them, look, this is one simple page, man. This is my page. This is inspireddigital.com. Yeah, the URL is different, but this is inspireddigital.com. I just have it forwarding. That's it. Something simple and basic, and I don't even care about that. A lot of you guys will be like, oh, it doesn't even say your .com up here. Yeah, it does. It's just my, my Karcher one, and nor does anyone care. Like, I don't care. As long as that visitor is getting there, as long as I'm tracking, as long as I'm pixeling, right? But it all started by having the correct link in what I'm talking about. These bios, this intro, freaking that link, that link on Twitter, man. I'm not here, but I got a presence. I got my name on lock. I got, I got this .com sending people where I want them to go, right? I don't have them, you know, this is where I want them to go, pixeling every visitor. So go ahead and go, to, go, go, ahead and go to my link, you guys, inspireddigital.com. I'm gonna pixel you and then I'll, I'll see you in the future. You know, I'll retarget, I'll run a Facebook ad, I'll run an Instagram ad to that person who actually visited this page. Um, regardless of, you know, and then if they click on anything, then they're being pixeled on a whole different page. You know, if they go into the social real estate agent, they click on that and boom, I got a whole different pixel you know, tracking all these visitors that are coming over here. You know, if, if they're, if they're into knowing how I built my social media agency, I've been building an agency for the past, you know, since 2016, one niche, you know, offering services, social media marketing, basic stuff, man. Um, um, Facebook advertising. If you want to know how I did it, I did it very different, did it very unique. I didn't run Facebook ads. I didn't cold call. I didn't door knock. I literally reached out to, through the DM and closed to the making of this video, closed hundreds of clients. Um, at, at, at this point, that's all what I'm teaching in digital agency blueprint. And then if you're new to Facebook ads, that's this one, FB ads for beginners. So someone can come here, man, click on whatever the hell they're interested in, right? Come to this page, right? Where I'm Facebook pixeling them on a whole different pixel. And these people, whether they opt in or not, at least I'm tracking you, right? Like, but most are going to opt in. So if you're new to Facebook ads, this is a sincere, you know, you know, pitch opt in, you know, get on my, get on my VIP list. I want to teach you these basics, man. There's a lot of basics that are left out in these thousand dollar courses, man. Um, allow me to teach you the basics. You know what I mean? So opt in if you're new to Facebook ads, this is, this is, um, this is this one. This is FB ads for beginners. So again, if I'm driving traffic, if I'm driving that, that click, right, that click better be taking me somewhere. Right. And so because I have this hub, this one web page, right. 
that's what my whole inspired digital.com is, 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 is under, right. Taking people here, then this gives them the option depending on what they're, what they're looking into. Right. So, but these are all things that I'm doing, man. This is all stuff. This is the social real estate. agent. this is a book I wrote, you know, it's like, there's all, you know, good stuff that I'm, I'm really getting driving traffic here to, to capture. If I'm going to drive traffic here at all, which I'm not, I'm not running paid traffic to this page. Hell no. But this page is I, all I'm saying is that the link that's in your platforms and your platforms should be Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. Those are the platforms. All I'm saying is that that link, that link inspired digital.com, that link better be taking me somewhere, somewhere good where you're benefiting, whether you're either tracking me with your Facebook pixel or you're taking me to one single landing page and, and, and you're offering me something. What is your free pitch? I offer a free book. You know, I offer click here and download your free book. Like I have a, literally a free book that I wrote, you know, 50 pages of straight fire um, for my niche, social media marketing, Facebook advertising. Like that's my bait. <laughs> if I was, if I was in business to just market that, that link would be everywhere. These would be the six platforms that link would be driving everyone to that one page where I'm capturing a lead or I'm giving up something of value in exchange for their name and email, right? That's how I would build my list. That's how you have to build your list. This is organic traffic. Like this is super, super organic traffic. That's why, that's why this is, this is a page. This page is not a page where I would run Facebook ads to heck no. No, I wouldn't do that at all because it's not, it's not a landing page. There's, there's more stuff going on and that's not what is cool for a paid ad, right? Like I don't want to send them here. I would send them to one page, which would be this one. I would send them to one page. So you'll see a Facebook ad and then boom, you'll come to this one page, this one page where there's nothing else to click on, but this blue one. And then boom, that's how a person opts in, right? So I'm taking them to this one page. That's what I'm saying. That's the purpose of this video. That's what I wanted to, wanted to, wanted to cut this. That's why I wanted to cut it. I spoke with a friend earlier and she said, David, can you kind of analyze what I'm doing? Can you look into my Facebook ads? Can you look into my landing pages? Can you look into, you know, marketing on social media? And I said, yeah, man, send me the link. This is what I told her. Shout out to Sarah. I said, send me the link that you're sending people to. You're, you're telling me you're running Facebook ads. You're telling me people are clicking. You're telling me, you know, people are going to your landing page. Let me look at that landing page. Not only let me look at the ad, but let me look at the landing page. I'm telling you, man, most businesses, small businesses, your mom and pop shops, your local restaurant, your local dentist, your local chiropractor, your local yoga studio, all of these small businesses, man, they're still sending me to their website. She, she is literally running Facebook ads and driving people here. This is a website. This is not the link that you want on all of your social media platforms, like at all. There's too much going on. There's way too much going on. Um, and so that, that was a quick fix. I said, no, sir, you're not going to send, take this link away from everything. Like take it off of your LinkedIn, take it off of your, your Instagram, take it off of your, off your Pinterest. And, and we need to, we need to restructure here. This is not where we want to drive traffic. This is not where we want to send them. We want to send them to one page, one page where it's maybe just a picture of you and, and it, and there's a headline and it says, and it said something like interested in buying or selling in the greater San Diego area. I'd love to meet you. And then boom, name, email, click submit more. Or if she was offering a, a, a free, a free buyer guide, five ways to buy in 2020, or if she was offering some type of free tip sheet, top, here, here are the, the top 10, you know, reasons why selling your property in 2022 is the best decision you could possibly make. Click here to download your free PDF or your free guide or your free cheat, cheat sheet or your free book, whatever the heck it is. Right. And then she sends people to this one page, one without this top stuff, none of this crap up here. None of the, I'm telling you, man, the local business owner, they're still sending you here. Like, and, and, the, and then they're wondering why their ads aren't working or they're wondering why they're not capturing leads or they wonder why they're not, they feel they're not building a business online because no, no traffic is finding them online. And if they are, they're coming to this one website where it's like, dude, okay, whatever. And then I X out 
and I'm no longer like you're no longer top of mind. Like you want to send me somewhere. This link that is in the contact info when people come to these pages, this link better be taking me somewhere good. And if you're like most businesses, what type of free value can you give out? What type of free download, a free PDF, a free coupon, a free tip sheet, a free freaking book, a free um, top five reasons why life insurance is the most important. What can you give away for free in exchange for someone's name and email? For it, 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 AKA interest for an exchange in a, for ex, for an exchange of someone's interest. Like though, if you provide something valuable, they'll give up their name and email in exchange for their interest. There, there's an interest there, right? They're not going to download how to sell how to sell their house in 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 you know 2020 if they live in a in an apartment and they don't own a house like they're they they wouldn't click on it right so people that start to download your free stuff are obviously interested in that topic so whatever you're selling offer something for free offer it a download offer it a free download and 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 that link is going to lead them there on these platforms okay on these different platforms that link is going to lead them somewhere where they can where they can you know give up a name and email okay so stop sending people to your website man the most most important link in 2020 the most important software in 2020 in 2020 is a landing page you need to, you need to step your game up and, and and here and here's where I'll leave it these two expenses are literally, literally the most important when building any kind of business in 2020. Online, offline, it doesn't matter. If you're the local restaurant, if you're the local dentist, if you're the local yoga studio, the local boxing gym, it doesn't matter. If you're the drop shipper, if you're the freaking Amazon seller, if you're selling on eBay and you're actually building some type of brand or business around it, the most, the most, two most important expenses i would say and i'm going to end it on this one this is something random i just it just popped in my mind are, are are your landing pages and that landing page should come with an email autoresponder the this landing page software that i use this is profit with online the link is in the is in the description there's a 14 day trial but um simple landing page software man simple landing page software when you opt in when you opt in and you give up your name and email that email goes into my communications over here to the left, and that's my email autoresponder. That's my list. That's my sequence, right? So when you, so here's the actual page. I haven't completed it. This is what I'll be finishing today. Um, I just got to edit all the words, but the template is already provided for you, man. Um, I'm going to edit these words. Simple, simple landing page. So there's the difference. The lady earlier, Sarah, she sent me to her website. She's been running Facebook ads. And so these ads, any random ad, when you're through the newsfeed, when you're on the newsfeed and you're just scrolling through and you come across an ad, she was sending people to that website. It's like, dude, you cannot do that. So your two most expensive freaking pieces of, of software are going to be landing pages that whole landing page and email autoresponder and, and your Facebook ads. Like, because as you start to run these Facebook ads, man, let me see an ad. Here's an ad right here. Group funnel sponsored. Here's an ad. I click, well, he, he, he wants to message me. So that's what he's trying to do. Let's see if I can find one that says learn more. Okay. Let's see where this person's taking me real estate for sale. View all of the just of the, of, of the just listed homes now available for sale in San Diego. I click on learn more and they're doing, and they're sending me a lead form. They're sending me through a lead form. They're capturing leads on Facebook through a quote unquote lead generation campaign. They're not taking me to a landing page. They are taking me to this one simple form that Facebook provides and, and there goes name and phone number. The only, the only, the only, when it comes to pros and cons, the only reason why I don't really do this one is because then that email is, is now in Facebook and you have to download it out of Facebook and upload it to your CRM, which is just a few more steps than I care to take. I'd rather take them to one landing page. They enter their name and email and boom, that email is automatically in my sequence while I'm sleeping. You know, I don't want to have to physically do anything. And so with this, you have to physically download that email 
and then and then and then and then upload it to your CRM. If your CRM is not integrated with a Zapier, for example, if you can integrate Zapier, then that might be more beneficial. But if you're not even you know freaking remotely know what the heck heck Zapier is, then you'll probably have a harder time. So in this case, I don't even use these lead forms, man. But that's the lead form ad. That's a lead form ad. That's where they're taking me. Let's see if anyone else is taking me to a landing page. Here's another another sponsored ad. I click on watch more. And where is he taking me? Is he taking me to a landing page? Yes, he's taking me to a landing page where his Facebook pixel is 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 tracking, is tracking every page view. Okay, that's 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 really good. He's taking me to one single page where I can watch something or I can click on the yellow button. And that's all there is to click on. That's the landing page. That's how he captures the lead. Most too expensive, I mean, not too most expensive, the most two most important expenses for every business in 2020 is your landing page software and your Facebook advertising. That's a Facebook ad right there. That's a Facebook ad. That's a Facebook ad. Um, anytime you see the word sponsored is a Facebook ad. But what Sarah was doing, man, is that when, when, when she was running her ads and people were clicking on learn more, she was sending me to a website where there's a million things to click on and she wasn't capturing leads. This guy running a lead form, running a lead form ad, um, capturing a lead. That's all he's looking to do is capture a lead. This is another one. Let's see. Click on learn more. Where is he taking me? He's taking me to a landing page. And he's taking me to Messenger. He's taking me straight to Messenger. So he wants to start a conversation with ManyChat, most likely, through Messenger, which is a, which is a super powerful, powerful method um, in getting that whole automation through Messenger. Here's another ad. I click on Learn More. Lead form. Another lead form ad. This is very, very interesting. Um, Here's another one, Blake. Where's Blake taking me? Okay, so he's taking me to a landing page. Bam. So yes, let me instantly watch the free training. That's all it is, man, is one button. Yes, let me instantly watch. Yes, let me instantly watch. Yes, let me instantly watch. One button that takes me to one single freaking opt-in where he captures the lead. That's what it's all about, man. So, so whether you're running a Facebook ad to get me here, Facebook pixeling me, tracking my every freaking move on this page so he can then leverage and run another, another Facebook ad to me in the future. That's what it's all about. Um, but whether, whether he's running a Facebook ad to get my attention to get over here and, and whether I, uh, so, so he's paying for that for, for me to come here or whether it's just on social media and that link is in my bio either one man so that link is either organically in your bio everywhere and you're taking me straight here or in your case if you don't have some type of free training again put it in your case in your perspective in your business shoes what can you offer for free do you own a local restaurant where if you know own an ice cream shop and I can come here and, and download instantly a coupon for 70% off my next ice cream. Or, or, or if you own, own a restaurant, free drink, first drink free on us. And, and you're getting me here to download my coupon. That's how you can instantly get my email and market to me in the future. Off, offer amazing promotions in the future. You now have my email. That's what it's all about, man. You have to be capturing that email in 2020. I talk to many business owners that, that do not capture that data and, and you want to be able to leverage that in the future, man. So whatever you're offering, you can give away something for free of value and you better be taking me to a landing page, not your website. You got to be investing in your landing page and you got to be investing in these Facebook ads, these Facebook ads, these Instagram ads, these YouTube ads. If you're building a business in 2020 and beyond, you have to be, you have to be there. It's not just the organic um, 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 branding you need. You need to set up all those different platforms that should be listed on your Facebook business page. When I go to your Facebook business page, I better, be, I better see all those links. Um, 
and and then I better have I, I better see a few thousand a few thousand likes on the business page. That that's another thing that I better see. Um, um, and then once I look at those links and go to your one website, you're gonna have that one website. Like, look, man, over here on my business page, you come over here, you see ten thousand plus likes, you see a bunch of reviews, and you see um, and you see in the about section. In the about section, you see every link listed, but this one dot com, that's what I'm going to end it on, man. That's what this whole video was all about. This one dot com, take me to a landing page. Take me to a landing page where you can capture the lead in exchange for, for, for giving value. Value to your customer, to your audience, to your client, um, um, whatever, man. Whatever the heck you're selling, you can give away something for free. That's what it's all about in 2020 online. You, your value is, gonna what, is what's going to allow you to stand out. And, and, and at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. But you got to grab my attention fast. You got to offer me something fast. <clears throat> and you better make it super simple for me to click on and give up my name and email fast. That has to be fast. On mobile, on desktop, that has to be fast. That's the name of the game. How big is your list, man? That's, that's, that's the name of the game. That list equals profits for your business in the future, man. That's the internet. That's social media. And, and I'm telling you, as, as a freelancer, as a digital marketer, as a social media agency, 99% um, of businesses out there still miss these basics. They still miss these basics. I click on their link. They're taking me to some dead website that's not even Facebook pixeling me, and there's nowhere to capture a lead, and, and, and they, can, they can't even tell you how many visitors landed on it in the last few days. Like 99% of businesses, man, still miss the basics. So, so provide value, man. Provide value. Stick to the basics. And that's what those links in the description are all about. FB Ads for Beginners is for that person that's looking for to, to, to cover those basics. Whether you're trying to build your own business and you're starting out or whether you're, you're an agency and you're offering these services, I'm telling you, man, nine out of 10 of you agency owners, agency owners, quote unquote, are still missing these basics for your clients. Like, dude, fbadsforbeginners.com, let me teach you the basics. Facebook advertising, what the super basics are and the most important are that everyone freaking misses even in their 997 courses. Um, that's FBads for beginners. And then digitalagencyblueprint.com, that's teaching people how I built my agency. I've been building one from 20, since 2016 to this day. That's what I do full-time, hundreds of clients. That's digitalagencyblueprint.com. Um, and then profitwithcarter.online. You have to be taking that, that, that link, man. I'm telling you, that link, that dot com, not only are the social media platforms set up, but this is the dot com that's in all of your platforms. That better be take me to a landing page where you're capturing the lead, man. Most important investment, most important expense for your business in 2020 is your landing page software and your Facebook advertising, man. If you're not running Facebook, if you're not running paid traffic, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. Unless you're building a brand and you're putting out 3,700 pieces of content every day like Gary V, then, okay, cool, go build it organically. But if you're not doing that, man, you better be running paid traffic um, for your business to, to really, really get off the ground. It's all about the paid traffic. I got to get to my audience and I got to get to freaking hundreds of thousands of them now. How can I, how can I get, how can I get that message across? Right. That's entrepreneurship. That's business. And, and, and if you're in, and if it wasn't social media where you're running paid traffic on, you would have to run that advertisement money somewhere else. You'd have to have a marketing budget. If you owned a business and you were, had a storefront and you're in your local community and people can drive up to your strip mall and freaking, um, that's your business. You have a local business, whatever the heck it is. Um, 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 where was I going with that? Dude, I lost my freaking train of thought on that one, but I was going to say something freaking good. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You would have to be advertising somehow, somehow, some way, unless you're on a busy ass street and there's freaking millions of cars that pass you every day. Okay, cool. I guess you have that freaking flow. If you're in a mall and you have freaking thousands of people that walk by your storefront every day because you're literally inside of a mall, then okay, I give it to you. But if you're, if you're like every other businessman, you would have to advertise somehow, some way to keep your doors open. This is no different. Social media just happens to be where all the attention is. That's all.
there just happens to be a billion people over there and they're all cool and I can find my niche and I can find the people that are interested in what the hell I have to offer and I can show my message to only them and not have to work, work you know, show my message to people that love blue but hate red and I happen to be marketing red. You know what I mean? Like, dude, it's, it's just so much more effective to be able to target and find that, that, that customer when, when it, on social media. That's what makes it so freaking powerful. Because again, if it wasn't this, you would have to spend that money offline. And what the heck are you going to do offline? You're going to print flyers. You're going to hang billboards. You're going to put your face on every bus bench. Like you're going to run radio ads on your local freaking radio station. You're going to run TV commercials. Are you going to have local events where the community is welcome and everybody comes? How would you market your business offline? Because you'd have to do something, man. I don't care if you're a telemarketing office and you're buying leads and you don't market offline, you don't market online because you buy leads. Okay, that's still a major expense, major expense. Trust me, I, I owned a call center, so I freaking know all about that major expense so you'd have to spend that money somehow some way i'm just convinced that if you if you did it on social media that's kind of all you would need it's all you would need like and it and it's cool you know so these are the basics you guys this is the most important freaking software um don't be taking people to your freaking website you better be driving them to a landing page so you better be investing investing in it profit with dot online there's a 14 day trial to oh, i just closed it to my Kartra, um, to to my Kartra account. So click on that, set up a 14 day trial, play around with it. It's that software and your Facebook ad money is where your money should be going in 2020. Bottom line, if you're doing everything else and anything else and you, and it's working and you're spending freaking a ton of money, but it works. Okay, cool. Whatever. Implement these two landing page, Facebook ads or Instagram ads or YouTube ads, that's paid traffic, that's social media traffic, that's all I'm referring to, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, anything else, that ain't this channel. I don't know about anything else, but if you just focused on that, that's why I'm also a person that it's like, dude, I don't need everyone, I don't need the whole planet. If I just focused on a, on a niche and went after this specific area, could I do good? It's simple math. You can be good at whatever the hell, you can be passionate, whatever the hell you wanna talk about, man. It don't matter, you'll find your peace. This, it's such a blue ocean. It's so huge. We're talking about the internet, man. It's crazy. So if you were to focus and, and, and pour some effort into these platforms, into paid traffic, into, into that social media paid traffic, that money has to be allocated somewhere. Do it here, do it here and see what happens. Test it. You know, that's why there's a 14 day trial profit with Online. There's a 14 day trial. I use it for my landing pages and my email autoresponder. And, and that's where we have to be in 2020. All right. So I'll see you guys on the next video over and out.